Many have captured our imaginations for centuries. From the oldest museum in the world comes Immortalis, the Hall of Emperors of the Capitoline Museums in Rome. It contains 20 works of antiquity, uh, all from ancient Rome, and many of them are portraits of some of the most celebrated uh, and infamous personalities of ancient Rome. Uh, the emperors, empresses, patricians, uh, the important uh, political structure of ancient Rome, beginning with Octavian, who would eventually become Caesar Augustus, uh, and ending with one of the last emperors of Rome, Honoria. People sometimes underestimate the power of history, but history can offer a repository of information about how people and societies behave. And so we have, for instance, the Emperor Nero, uh, but we also have uh, Vespasian, Trajan, Hadrian, and these are individuals that really shaped the ancient world, and their legacy still very much lives on, uh, not only in terms of uh, political history, military history, but these busts themselves really did shape the tradition of political portraiture that was picked up not only in Europe, but also in the United States. This is an incredible treasure trove at the Capitoline Museums, and to see this exhibition is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This is the only place in the world that these works have been shown outside of Rome, and once they return to Rome, they are not likely to leave again. Um, and so the fact that Norman, Oklahoma was the destination, uh, as I think left many people bemused, um, and one of the things that I think we can say here is that both the Capitoline Museums and Anil Green Power were very interested in sharing uh, these incredible treasures of Roman history with the world. Also highlighted in the Immortalis exhibit is the family relationships that tie these historical characters together. With that in mind, if you want a different kind of a date night, bring them to Immortalis, and it closes coincidentally on Valentine's Day. So that is the last opportunity that uh, people have to come and see this wonderful exhibit. Really this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I would strongly then encourage them to make the trip to the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art.